So actually, do I want to start with center? I guess I'll start with the center and then do the petals. So we're going to, these are Posca pens. I've heard of another brand recently that I am kind of interested to try. Not to be disloyal to my Poscas, but I might actually try another brand. As in, I have to say intrigued. Of course, don't ask me the name of it. It was like um, artist with an O, like artistro, or an artist with an R-O at the end. I wonder if this is big enough. I want to be able to outline this after, so I want to make sure the petals were big enough to outline. But I was trying to come up with some easy ways to do spring flowers for my friends that are just starting rock painting. The problem with this is I can see that that's not drying. Until that dries, I can't really do an outline on it. Oh, pink. Pink would be pretty. Try doing this a little bigger. Like. I might not be able to outline it if it doesn't dry soon enough. I don't know how long Poscas take to dry. This is not something I have tried before. I'll get it in that pink too much. Maybe do one more over here. Let's see, we've got pink, we've got what else do we want? We've got blue and we've got pink. Maybe a red. Just gonna run through all my rainbow of colors in here. And we're gonna draw it on first. I can hear my owl outside, or one of my owls. Let's see if she wants to fly over me again like she did the other night. That was pretty wild. But yeah, doesn't really matter. Just sort of put leaves wherever you think leaves should go. And maybe a. We could even do a white one, I suppose. Kind of your classic daisy, huh? This white one always gives me fits. That's... Oh, wow. That's your cooperative. Look how bright white that is. I'm glad I tried it now. But these I want to just do all daisies. Hopefully, like I said, I'm a little leery. I'm not going to be able to do the outlining on this session with how long it's taken to dry. It might depend on the rock type, huh? Actually, that blue one looks pretty dry. I have purple. I wonder if purple would show up well enough with the black outline, though. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Let's put another yellow. They'll all be united by these yellow centers, I think. That's what we'll do. Actually, they're kind of pretty without the outlining. <laughs> That's my way of saying I don't think I'll be able to outline them. Oh, they look good without it. Okay, then I think maybe we'll need another red one over here. See the blue one being small like that, it looks like a forget-me-not. It's pretty. 
these are just mostly that one I got a little wild with mostly these are just your classic five petaled flower easy enough to do In there, I guess. You can have this one be a triangle of leaves. There we go. Let's see, do I feel like that's enough? I could almost do another. Let's do another blue one, maybe right down here. Even if it gets cut off a little bit. Just because these are so much fun. Put the gold leaf here. Well, those are drawing. These ones, the last few aren't, but these ones sure are. Just making sure. All right, well, if they're dry, then I'm going to try and outline them. That's what I intended to do in the first place. See how black's doing? Black's fine. I'll turn around this way because those are the wet ones. I don't want to drag my hand over the wet one. You guys see how? Let me move over where you can see what I'm doing. The outlining changes the character a bit, doesn't it? Between the ones that are outlined and the ones that aren't. The ones that aren't, it, I kind of like them not too, but I want to try that on this one. And I might do one where I just leave them not outlined. That one I just goofed up a little bit. Shouldn't have tried to fix it. Should have just left it the way it was. So it looks like my little violets I have here in the studio. One thing that helps about this particular rock is this particular rock is very smooth. And uh, I left the natural rock on here, but one way to smooth it out a little bit is to paint it a background color or put gesso on it. But you're trying to get a smoother surface to paint on. That white seemed to go on thicker, so I'm going to save that one. And if you have grooves, this rock is very smooth. If you have grooves, sometimes they do what I call spit at you, which is you hit a little groove and then the thing sort of sprays out there. The ink. I might try and cover that one little piece with a little bit of red since I messed it up a little bit. See if I can go over it again with a with another layer of red if that'll work. These pens are new to me. As you guys know, I'm a painter normally. I normally don't deal in this stuff. But there's some effects that are just so much quicker with a pen. Okay, now I'm going to try and fix this one little spot. In the paint you can do this, but I don't know about with the pens. Oh, yeah, that worked. Okay, well that makes life easy. Now I thought I'd do in the, in the interim is maybe just, um, just do some little uh, Swirly dotty things, just just around, just for design. These aren't really anything. And if you had a if you have a dark rock, then I'd suggest you either paint the whole rock 
something a, a light color first or that you paint the flowers in white first if you paint flat or or even just do the white color first and then do a color over it then the colors show up more this rock was fine though it's so light colored that i didn't need to do that but typically that's something i'll do is uh paint or draw it in white first just to just to get those colors a little extra pop if it's on a, a dullish gray surface but this is on kind of a warm beige and it's very light to begin with okay, a few more over here now when this dries which i would recommend letting it dry at least a day if you can then I seal it with, I will seal it with this, Ram coat, um, sorry, interior, exterior varnish. Acrylic paint, you always want to seal. Let's maybe make some of those swirls even bigger. a little more obvious that they're swirls if they go around. Okay, do we feel like that's enough? Maybe one more little one right there. And maybe just some single dots. Those would be good for a design. It's just kind of filling up a little bit of that empty space. You could do more flowers or just leave it empty, as a matter of fact. Just to add some interest to these in-between sort of areas. Okay, well, I guess we'll call that it for our happy little springtime flower rock. And when I get, when this dries, I'll probably, what I do is I turn it over, I sign and date it on the back. And then, like I said, then we'll seal it with varnish and we're good to go. And with that, I'm going to be off and make dinner. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.